Good evening and welcome to the 2023 first ever USA Miracle Conference presented to you by CMFI USA Miracle Center. I am Josiah Powell and I am back again with my wonderful co-host Mishka Johnson. Mishka, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has been such a while, Josiah. We are so excited to be back with you all. Wherever you're streaming from, we have missed you, and we repent for not being here the first two sessions, <laughs> the first three sessions, but we are back and better than ever. Yes. Josiah, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling fantastic. The conference has been amazing so far. It's been a, it's been a great blessing. Um, from, from opening night last night and throughout the morning session, uh, even as we're, we're about to step into the evening session tonight, uh, it's been it's been a great blessing seeing all the men of God here that have been gathering from around the world. We've had men of God from 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 Africa, from uh, from, from Zambia, from Zambia, uh -huh. from Cameroon, Cameroon, Mozambique. Mm -hmm. We've had so many people come come in from from in so many different places. So it's been a blessing to just see God's God's hand in this conference. It's it's been great. Absolutely. And we are definitely expecting as the conference goes on, you know, we know some people are at work, people are, you know, still flying in, still driving in. Um, but we know it's just going to be ramping up. So if you are still thinking about coming, you should definitely come and be a part of the Absolutely. energy, be a part of the atmosphere, be a part of the international move of God that is happening in this building. God has raised this conference for such a time as this. And if you're watching online and you can be in the building, make sure you come join us tonight. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a night of fire. Absolutely. We're only going higher, and we're learning so much throughout the conference. And oh, yeah. Just the, the, if you've been tuning in to see the, the, the healing ministry, the deliverance ministry that's taken place even just today, it was, it was, it was powerful. Absolutely. The, the, as, 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 as Pastor Suzanne shared, just the transparency of, uh, 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 of, of Apostle Elizabeth, of, of Dr. Elizabeth, as she was ministering this morning, as, as, wow. as, as Prophet Michael Van Vlyman was, was just sharing his experiences of the supernatural realm, it was jam-packed with, with not just testimonies, but, but, but an, an invitation into the supernatural and into the miraculous. Like, we know we're called to, to walk in as our namesake is the Miracle Center. So Absolutely. It's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a lot of teaching, but also a lot of prompting to step into to God's call for the, the, the miraculous life. Absolutely agreed. So Josiah, I want to take us back to actually, for those of you who either couldn't tune in or did not tune in, or you're tuning in today for the very first time, we just want to do a quick recap for you on what you have missed. So we started out the session actually yesterday evening yes. with an explosive opening. I mean, Dr. Miles did not spare us. He took no, us he right not. into the deep. For those of you that <laughs> remember our last Dr. Miles conference, we, what did we do? We jumped the bloodline. Yes, line. we did. Yes. Yes, and Dr. Miles led us right back into jumping the bloodline one more time. It was just so amazing. I honestly feel like, do you feel like it was even more powerful this time than it was the last time when he was at our church? Yes, it was because it, it, it came back around, I believe, for, 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 for not just those of our church who had done it before, but also it came for the people that had never experienced it. Right. The people that had that that didn't even realize that they needed it again. Right. You know, because th as Dr. Francis explained last night, even for those who have jumped the bloodline already, it was needed again because of the evil and the wickedness that was propagated by Satan and his cohorts Through throughout COVID, COVID. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. I honestly, too, think it was just the grace of God. Um, just a blessing that those who might have missed the first Jumping the Bloodline get another chance to do it mm -hmm. here. And I hope, I believe this is something uh, Dr. Miles does around the world mm -hmm. at yes. different times as he's ministering. So if you missed Jumping the Bloodline at our church uh, last year, if you missed it even last night, and maybe you were at work, you were, you know, you were winding down, you were somewhere else, please don't feel like that was last last opportunity, um, go to francismiles.org and you can also see where he is going to be and you can jump the bloodline with him or just watch the live stream yes. and jump the bloodline on your own time. It is so, so important. And for those of you that don't know what we're speaking about, Josiah, do you want to kind of like explain uh, what jumping the bloodline actually is and sure. why it's important? Absolutely. Um, so jumping the bloodline is, is, a, is a prophetic technology and a prophetic uh, tool for deliverance that 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 God gave 
to Dr. Francis um, as, as, as a means of not just delivering God's right. people and those who have been captive in, in, in various sicknesses, generational bondage, uh, bondage mm -hmm. and curses, things of this nature, but it's also used as, 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 as a means of, of really ushering God's people in to a realm of freedom and, and, and dominion like they've never experienced before without it. And so uh, the, 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 the Lord gave Dr. Francis a, a scripture from Ezekiel about the umbilical cord not being cut uh -huh. among, among others. And, and basically in, 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 in layman's terms, it's, it's, a, it's a prophetic technology that separates us from natural father, natural mother's bloodline, from, from even for, the, for those of you that are married women, separating uh, ourselves from, uh, se separating yourself from your spouse and, and, and your husband's bloodline, the, right. the iniquities that, that, that come with, with your spouse, your, 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 hus uh, your, your, your father, your mother, your, your natural bloodline, right. and stepping into the bloodline of Christ. Right, and I feel like yesterday when he was, you know, kind of leading us into that, um, I just think how the Lord is so creative and so how it's really just, um, it's his grace that we're even able to do this. And I remember last night when Dr. Miles was leading us to jump the bloodline, um, he was saying, he, he called out a number of things that he was attaching to that bloodline. That we were saying, yes. okay, once we cross this line, this stops with me. I'm yes. disconnecting no matter who did witchcraft, who did, you know, unforgiveness, who was engaging in any number of immorality. It was a prophetic act, like Josiah said, that yes. like once I cross this line, you know, God is going to honor that and I'm not turning back. And I just thought it was really great how he was saying um, even things he didn't call out. He was like just by faith project it onto the line and cross over because each of yes. us are going to be different. And that's important to notice. Even as you're listening and you're going through the 2023 Miracle Conference, keep in mind that you are here to encounter God for yourself. Amen. Right? Each of us, there's a, there's a grace and there's a blessing that comes with approaching the throne on a corporate level. But remember that you have come for your own specific encounter, right? So whatever you need from the throne, whatever you need to bring to the altar, whatever you need to get from the Lord. You know, if we come with expectant hearts, I believe that the Holy Spirit, that the Lord meets us at our Amen. level of expectancy, Amen. right? And yes. so if there's something that doesn't necessarily get called out, maybe you need deliverance or maybe you're expecting or, or desiring healing or deliverance from something specific, speak up and advocate for yourself spiritually, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We, I think we advocate for ourselves, you know, at work. We advocate for ourselves, you know, in our business is we advocate for ourselves in so many other ways, even politically. Yes. Right? We advocate for what we believe in. And so when it comes to your eternity, mm -hmm. how much more important it is, is it for you to say, okay, this is what I need. This Amen. is where I'm hurting. This is where I'm broken. Lord, would you meet me there? And so I just thought just that one act of him saying, we're going to jump the bloodline, but before we do, if there's anything you particularly need, you have your own story. So if there's anything you need to bring to the Lord, project that onto the line. Yes. And when you cross over, believe that that is a thing of the past, that yes. God has cleansed you, disconnected you, and that you are going to be walking in a heightened level of liberty and of freedom. And I just, I thanked God for that so much because Amen. that is like, it's so creative. It's like, it's so creative and it's so uncommon and it's just so beautiful. I'm like, wow, thank you, Lord, that you know, you can meet me wherever I'm at. And I think that's a running theme every year. So just something that yes. we want people to keep in mind that, like, we want you to come with your own personal expectancy. Absolutely. Not just, like, being caught up in what's going on. Of course, be a part of it, but also on the judgment day, um, who said yesterday? Um, oh, it was actually um, Suzanne Hinn this morning. She said, when I stand before the judgment throne of God, and I actually think Bishop said it yesterday, too. He was like, oh, you're standing alone. She was like, I'm yes. not, she said this morning, she's like, I'm not standing as Benny Hinn's wife. No, she's not. You know, yeah. we're not standing, you're mm -hmm. not standing as your husband's wife or your wife's husband. You're standing alone on that day. And yes. so just make sure that in everything we do, you have a personal encounter. Absolutely. And for those of you who, who may have missed last night's ministry of jumping the bloodline, the, 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 the power of sidelines, if you want to go back and catch it, we will be we will be uploading the, the, the full length message today on YouTube 
on both our CMFI Miracle Center and our Bishop Robinson Fondong Ministries YouTube channel. So you can go check that out. In the meantime, you can also check out the live stream recording. Live, it's still on our, uh, on our Miracle Center YouTube channel and Robinson Fondong Ministries YouTube channel. You can go check it out. Be blessed. Catch up on it because truly it's these things that, 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 that God brings to us through men of God are life-changing. We don't want you to miss out on any of the things that God is bringing forth into this generation by, by, by the, the massive revelation that, 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 that comes forth in these conferences. You'll be blessed by it. We know you will. And, and like Dr. Francis says, testimonies come forth Flooding. from jumping the bloodline like, oh. like, like nothing else. So... Um, we encourage you as a ministry, we encourage you as, 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 as a church body, please go back and check it out on our YouTube channels. You will be blessed. Well, what I was going to say to that too is if you are on the YouTube channel and maybe you're not so familiar with how to toggle between things. So if you go to Robinson Fondong Ministries on YouTube or you go to CMFI uh, Miracle Center, it will come up. But if you're looking for the full experience, because um, it is kind of separated out, if you want the full experience, you want the full session, do go over to where it says live and click on that because those, those are not cut at all. They're not cut or edited. They're just straight through from beginning to end. Yes. So if you want to see the whole thing, the whole experience, go through where it says live and then start watching those sessions. Um, but yeah, we're so excited that you guys are back with us and um, thank you for joining again. We're welcoming some new people on the live stream. Yes. Let's see who we have. We are. <laughs> we're, 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 we're so excited because, you know, Mishka, each year, when we gather, there, 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 are, there are old faces, well, faces that we that, that we that we've seen faces. before, familiar, familiar faces, faces. We should say it like that. We, <laughs> we, we've seen familiar faces and also new ones each year. Right, right. And it's a blessing to to get to 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 get to to, to garner some new family. Yeah, um, absolutely. And and each year we want you all, we all want each and every single one of you who join in online to know that, that 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 we truly we cherish you we care about you as family in christ we know that there's no there's no distance in the spirit so Absolutely. we we're thankful that, that, that you choose to 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 be here with us to partner with us to to spend your 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 your, your time your fourth of july weekend or fourth of july going into the fourth of july weekend with us it's a it's a privilege to be able to to worship God with you as, as family in Christ, no matter if you're joining us from Ghana, from Cameroon, from Europe, from somewhere here in the U.S., we are thankful for your participation, and we know we'll honor it. Absolutely, and we just want to, again, thank you for joining in. We take it very seriously that you have made the sacrifice, like Josiah said, to join us, and we try our hardest to make it feel like you are in the building yes. right with us. That's why we do uh, these shows. That's why we try so hard with the media to make sure that the experience feels comes to life for you, really. Um, and so no matter where you're watching from, we do want you to interact back with us. Absolutely. Um, so if you're watching on our YouTube page, hello, welcome. Drop your name in the chat, where you're streaming from. If you're tuning in from Facebook, Rumble, Hope TV, any number of places, we just want you to know that you are welcome here. And we're so excited to see you. Let us know where you're tuning in from. And if you have a testimony, if anything has happened during this entire conference that has really shaken up your world, that has changed the course of your life, that you believe the Lord has really met you in a really special way, please share that with us. We would love to hear all of your testimonies. Yes. Uh, where can they email us? At church at CMFI Miracle Center. Dot com. Com. Yep. So email us in all of your testimonies. Uh, we would love to just know and be able to thank God and praise Him with you. Amen. So tonight is session four. Mm -hmm. As we have been discussing so far, we have had the opening session last night with 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 Bishop Robinson right. and Dr. Francis Miles opening up the conference in such a power packed way. To this morning we had we had uh, Pastor Suzanne Hin lead the 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 the, the body in, in corporate prayer in corporate intercession really contending for 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 the things that that God has in store for us during this the, 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 these these five days right. and then after that we had the morning session where it was first Prophet Michael Van Vlyman then Apostle Elizabeth, and then Pastor Suzanne Hinn. Back to back to back, Just fire power. ministry. Power. It was amazing, wasn't it? Was, it? I mean, it was, 
I was not expecting that. It was just back to back to back, just like hit us with one Holy Ghost revelation after the other. I mean, right from Michael Van Vlyman talking about, you know, his son who saw the angel, the angel touched his head. He passed out on the lawn, like mm -hmm. the miraculous, you know, his daughter coming and just reporting back all the miraculous things that have happened to her. And he was kind of saying like, this is not a one off. No. Like, you can be living this kind of lifestyle yes. as well. I was like, wow, Lord, yes, bring it on. <laughs> then literally rolling into Dr. Elizabeth, sharing her testimony. Yes. What, that was just so impactful, literally walking us through her own pain. And I mean, just as she was ministering and just like I could see how she was in, I could see lives being changed right here in the building. I mean, it was amazing. And then, of course, going into Pastor Suzanne Hinn, I yes. really liked hearing <laughs> about, you know, her family, her, her um connection to the supernatural and how on mm -hmm. both sides she has really like spiritual warfare was just passed it was in her bloodline oh she was know? she was born for it she was a born fighter and i really like that so it was just it was a good experience all around and we are so excited for this afternoon Josiah. yes we are we have i believe it's bishop robinson tonight uh -huh. and dr francis that are ministering mm. and uh it's going we're, we're, we're going to go deeper you know, um, one thing that blessed me today from, from Pastor Suzanne's ministry was how she was sharing every time that we speak, every time that we, the, the, that we open our mouths and declare something, something happens, you know. Mm. Um, that, uh, that was also uh, Prophet Michael Van Vlyman who shared that, 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 that it, was, it was a confirming word. It was a reminder for us when he, was, when he shared his testimony of when uh, a, a spirit came to him and I believe it was it, it was in his home and it was standing before him and he was rebuking it and rebuking it and for some for whatever reason it wasn't leaving but after finally it left as he as he sought the Lord he got the understanding from God that the enemy wants to to get the body of Christ to not persist and from that word I draw back uh, a, a, an understanding and, and just a, a, a fresh reminder that every time we, we hear a word from the Lord, from, from our, 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 our man of God, our apostle, when, when, when Bishop Robinson is, is, is standing upon the pulpit and declaring things concerning this nation, declaring the, uh, that this nation will go right, declaring the, the, that righteousness shall, shall be over this nation, mm -hmm. it has such that, an effect. That faithful you know, it has such an effect in just to get that, that it's, it, it, I, I think there was deliverance even in that statement, truly, yeah, you know, absolutely. just to, 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 to deliver our minds from almost a dullness to believe that every time we hear something, it's just another word or it's just, it's, it, it can become white noise, you know, when, when those things happen. But that was just such a, a, a beautiful, a beautiful reminder to, to me from the Holy Spirit, yeah. that when we're receiving these messages, that when we're receiving this ministry from these mighty men and women of God that have lived not just years in Christ, but have lived decades. deeply, yeah. decades in Christ, you know, that have had deep, deep fellowship and intimacy with the Holy Spirit. When they come forth and when they deliver these words of life, they change things, they change atmospheres truly. Right. And so... It was a reminder and a rebuke to me at the same time right. to keep our spirits open and expectant. And you know, what I got out of that same story that Josiah kind of just r detailed for you guys um, was kind of two things. It was one, a perseverance, right? Because yes. he didn't just stop in minute one. He didn't stop in minute two. He kept going, you yes. know, so that thing lifted. Yes. So number one is that I feel like sometimes as believers, we when the, when the going gets tough, the believers get going. I feel <laughs> like I think that is one of the issues with the church is that we don't have the stamina of the old church. We don't have the stamina to be on the mountaintop praying. We don't have, you know, mm. we're we're in, engulfed, engrossed in, in distraction. Mm. And the enemy is is beating us, not because we don't have the heart for God, mm. but because we're distracted. Wow. Right? And so what that story talked to me was a holy perseverance of saying, yes. Um, you know, strike, why did you not strike the ground again? Why didn't you strike the ground again? You know what I mean? We're striking the ground one time and giving up. We need to keep going, right? If there's something you're praying Amen. for, that you're believing God for, you're believing God maybe for a family member, maybe for salvation, maybe for healing, you know, in any number of things, 
don't give up. Keep striking the ground toward the end of your deliverance, your freedom, because it's worth it. Yes. Um, and then I also got, just as he was explaining that story, um, just the beauty of the grace of God and how much God, like, you know, the Lord wasn't, you didn't, you didn't chastise him. He just gently corrected him. Mm. And so just displaying the sonship, right? Mm. Like, as a son, you can expect correction. Yes. And so you don't have to worry. And I think he even said that later on, like, uh, as he was ministering. He said later on, like, you can expect correction. Don't worry when correction comes. That just means you're a son. Yes. So I just really appreciated that gentle correction um, of the Lord thereafter. It was really nice. It was. The, there's, there's such a, a beauty and also diversity throughout the ministries that we've been receiving um and i believe the holy spirit is just combining them and clustering them in such a way where it's meeting each child of god oh yeah in their direct need you know oh, yeah. um <laughs> and i was even thinking like just to piggyback off of that like how you were commenting on the, the, the diversity i think with the diversity um it really like you said it really hits there's something for everybody right depending on what kind of culture you're coming from, what kind of background. Not everybody mm. is coming from a charismatic background. Not everybody's coming from a more reserved, like, you know, kind of background. But we have ministers, we have a diversity of ministers yes. to represent the diversity of the body. And I think that's what really makes Miracle Center special. celebration of diversity absolutely we're 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 people we're people in this kingdom that 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 um bishop he he teaches this this all the time but that we're not beggars and we're not nobodies in christ no, nobody not. is 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 less than no. we know that we know that there's that 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 in terms of spiritual in terms of spiritual authority and experience and things of this nature there are different rankings in, in christ we understand that but in terms of our value in christ all of us have something to bring all of us have 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 an asset or a skill or something that god has placed on the inside of us that we can use for his glory in 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 the big picture of the of, of, of the body and that is what is so cherished because when we come together like this, as there are so many different pieces moving throughout the, the, the conference, you'll, you'll, you'll see people serving in, 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 in certain ministries and, and really giving their, their, their all for the glory of God. Many times uh, it's, it's not seen, but truly mm -hmm. it's just a reminder for maybe some of you that are that, that are even watching from from wherever you may be uh, around the globe that you have a, a part to play you have an aspect of, of of whatever god has placed on the inside of you that matters you your your your, your talents and those those gifts that god has placed on inside on the inside of you they matter even in a setting like this you know that truly there's something for everybody here to 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 pitch in truly yeah, and I think uh, what we're doing here and really confronting our limitations and really bringing them to the altar is a good thing because you know what happens when you work through your challenges and your wounds mm -hmm. is that the shame and the stigma connected to them kind of dissipates, right? And as yes. Dr. Elizabeth was saying this morning, mm -hmm. she was saying there is somebody connected to your story, yes. the flavor that you bring, the experiences you've had in life. That's why it's so important that we're diverse because you might have had an experience that you can really relate to and express in a way that touches a whole community of people, Absolutely. a whole slew of people that are connected to your story. But if you are not at a place where you are healed and you are able to really express that, you know, you really have to heal those wounds, and the way to do that is to bring it to the Lord. Yes. 
And so I was really so grateful when she said that. I was like, wow, it kind of challenges you. Yes. It's like, wow, if not for myself, I want to bring it to the altar for those connected to me. I want to wow. bring it to the altar for those coming behind me. Absolutely. You know, think about the people in your life, your loved ones, your family, your friends. Everybody in your life benefits when you heal. Absolutely. When you are delivered. Absolutely. When you rise. Yes. Everybody connected to you rises with you. And so it's so important that we just bring all these things to the person that can actually help us. Yes. And the person that actually heal us. I remember um, last night during during worship, the Lord spoke to me and he said, you know what, Mishka, um, I want you to cease and desist getting anything you need from anyone besides me. Mm, because my I goodness. will give you everything you need and I will never hurt you in the process. I will, so it might, you might feel stretching, you might feel pain, but it will never harm you. Amen. It will always be for your good and it will always be because I love you. Yes. And so he was telling me, like, there is a period that you need to go through where you just literally everything you get and everything you need has to come directly from me. And I think that's part of the process. It's like we need to strip back and realize that, like, everything we need is found within Christ. So if we bring it to the altar, that's all we need. That's uh, it's such a beautiful testimony that you're sharing as, as God spoke to you. You said this was last night. This is last night during worship, yep. <laughs> it's, the, it's like even throughout the, the ministry that we received today, the deliverance ministry, uh, the, the, the healing that took place, it's so it's almost like it's it's like how how a flower breaks open so that the the, the petals can be seen you know wow. it's like there's beauty in 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 and how God has crafted you there's beauty even in in the 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 vulnerability that you give the Lord because Absolutely. God can can create such a masterpiece out of that yeah. you know like how 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 the Lord is speaking to Mishka that mm-hmm. just the same as he won't hurt Mishka in the process of 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 the stretching and the growth that comes Pruning, forth yeah. in trusting in Him. At the same time, we know that the same God that does it for Mishka is the same God that would that do does it for, it for you. you. Amen. So it's like we serve the God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. We know this. the 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 Scripture says that in Hebrews chapter thirteen, verse eight, we we know the God that doesn't change and. We've heard it before, but it's a different thing when we when we walk it out, when we experience it for ourselves in a fresh way. So, I I, I, I was blessed by the testimony. I, I'm I'm blessed to, to to hear how the Lord ministered to you last night. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I wanted Powerful. to I wanted to also ask you too, like. I find that there's so much value when the ministers share their own stories, right? Because it just yes, kind of shows absolutely. you. Absolutely. Because it, you see an element of divinity, mm-hmm. but then you also see an element of humanity. Yes. And I think for me, that's what always helps me the most is when I can see both. When I can see. Because uh, yes. sometimes I feel like you're, you're listening to people's lives and, and their stories, and it seems so far-fetched, mm-hmm. right? And you're like, how are they doing these things? And you kind of feel like um, almost like. Like, I could never do that. Mm. But it's so nice when people share their testimonies because you realize, okay, they have struggles just like me. They're people just like me. Mm. And if, if God can bring them through, God can bring me through. But I think there is that level of vulnerability that it takes, like mm. you said, to say, here's my life. I'm going to lay down my experiences so that you can benefit. You know, and I think that's such a beautiful thing. Yes. And I, I really appreciate that. And I hope you guys watching at home um, can also appreciate that and say, you know, I'm so happy that you're sharing your story because now it makes me brave to go and work through mine and to share my story with those connected to me. Yes. So. Because it's 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 a beautiful balance, Mishka, when you're when you're receiving when you're receiving wisdom, when you're receiving ministry yeah. from these people that have gone so far in God and yet they can also share their their, their points of of mistakes and weaknesses yeah. so that we can grow, so that yeah. we can we can overcome the things that that had challenged them in their in their walk, and it's 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 a gift. It is, you know, it's, because yeah. it's like I believe that that the wisdom that came that from experience with these with these men and women of God Absolutely. is so valuable. Absolutely, because God didn't have to send them to us. God didn't have to 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 send them with this message that they're sharing with us. But he did. It's it's a gift. It's a privilege to to receive the wisdom that they're sharing, so that we don't have to to to, to, to live out those cycles oh, yeah. of rejection, to live out those cycles of fear, those those cycles that 
that could keep us bound or, or, or could keep us far from God's plan for us. It's, I'm oh, yeah. thankful. I, I really am thankful for, for, for their openness. And you know what it is? It's the heart of a parent. Yes. You know, if you really think about it, who is the most likely person to say, okay, I'm going to correct you in this way, but it's one, because I love you, and two, it's because I don't want you to go down that mm. path. Mm. Parents. So when I think when Dr. Elizabeth goes up Absolutely. there and she's telling her testimony, I think, wow, she's a mother. She's yes. my spiritual mother. I think when Michael Van Vlyman, Amen. Dr. Miles, you know, Suzanne Hinn, when they're going out and really showing their stories and showing what they've walked through, I think though that is the heart of spiritual parents. Mm. They're saying, no, don't go that way. I went that way and it doesn't work. They're saying, okay, go this way. It's tried and true. I've walked the path. And I want you to skip, jump over the mistakes I made, yes. and walk into your own victory. And I'm, we are so thankful and, and just blessed by that. I think that's amazing. It is. It so, is. Josiah, do you want to talk about what's going on to our left right here? What's available for people? If you are driving in right now and you're listening to us on the live stream, what books, what authors, what kind of things do we have in the building today for you to expect when you arrive in the building, either tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday? We have Dr. Francis's full lineup of, of amazing books, uh -huh. including uh, I Speak to the Earth, Order uh, of The Order of Melchizedek, right, right. The Battle of Altars. Battle of Altars, there, I there are that. There, there are so, there's so many rich revelations just from yeah. Dr. Francis's catalog alone. Absolutely. You, you'll, you, you'll be sure to be blessed mm -hmm. by everything that God has imparted to this mighty man of God. He's He's an apostle that's touched so many nations mm. just with his books alone. Absolutely. And, uh, they're especially here. his books. Yes, you remember what he especially said? He, his books. He's like, he, what he said yesterday, he was like, um, you didn't really even need to invite me. Just read my book <laughs> because the books carry more testimonies than even when I come in person. Yes. So I they're, thought that was really funny. They're, 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 they're deep and, and they're, they're, they're revolutionary, especially to the body of Christ, uh -huh. because the, the, the things that he's teaching – like he shared many times before with us, they're practical. They're not just these these the, 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 these these cosmos kind of, of 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 revelations that they're good to the ear, but we can't really do anything with them. Yeah. These are revelations that will change your. They'll not only impact your family, but they'll change your life. They'll change your family. They'll change the course of the way that you're living. It's 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 a guarantee that you, that, that you'll be blessed 100 percent. And I just love, personally, I love Dr. Miles's flavor and his relationship with God. His uniqueness and even the way he relates to God comes out in his ministry. It comes out in his books. Just everything that he does. Like, he could read a scripture that you've read a thousand times. Yes. That everybody has preached on. And he comes at it at such an angle that you're like, I'm constantly floored. Yes. I'm like, how did you get that out of that? But it just makes... When he brings it home for you, it just makes so much sense. And so I myself am excited to just get through all of Dr. Francis Miles' books. Don't walk, run. Um, <laughs> what else do we have over here? It looks like we've got actually some art mm -hmm. that I have not seen before. Um, it looks like the artist is Kathy Frederick. There is some beautiful art over here yes. um, to our left. So for those of you still planning on coming in, driving in, flying in, um, you can look forward. We have an artist. I believe she's actually live painting mm -hmm. in, in the room as the sessions are going on. Yes. Uh, which I think is unique for this year. It very, so that is very. such a blessing. First time. First time. Yes. Yeah, that is a first. Um, and then tell us a little bit more about our home church's books. Do, yes. we, have, do we have anything that the people might want to, 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 to get when they get here? Well, we have the one and only Apostle Elizabeth Fondong, Apostle Elizabeth Fondong's first debut novel, uh -huh. Deliverance from the Spirit of Rejection. Right, right. This book has been a game changer for so many in our church. Back at, here at Miracle Center, lives have been changed. I know I received ministry I from know it. I I've received ministry from it. It is power packed in so many ways from Dr. Liz's transparency. And, and you, you should be sure to get it because it will bless your life. So thank you. We bless you. This is session four of the USA 2023 Miracle Conference. Thanks for joining.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you, Lord, the glory, the honor, the honor, the majesty.